Hi, welcome to Ace Stone Tarot. I'm Anna and I'm going to read your cards today. We're going to pick a pile one through three and we're going to find out what your person is, what, their, what are their thoughts about you? What are their thoughts about you today? So our first pile will be um, the uh, Celestial Tarot and that's this one here. The second pile will be the Hermetic Tarot and the third pile will be the Tarot of Curious Creatures. So just pick a number one through three or whichever deck back you resonate with the best and then um, we'll see what the cards have to say in just a moment. Okay, if you picked pile number one, that's the Celestial Tarot. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Lover's card. So let's see what else we have. So the first card you got is the Nine of Cups. Second card is the Prince of Cups. And the third card is the Two of Cups. Wow. So you have all cups, right? So that's pretty great. Um, so what I'm seeing here right off the bat is that your person thinks of you as kind of like his, their muse. Like, you know, you inspire them. They feel that you're very talented and they admire you quite a bit. When they're with you, they feel like they are just at the best of life, like they're just feeling, living their best life. And um, especially with the lovers on the underneath of the deck and the Two of Cups, looks like going forward, you have a lot of opportunity here and a lot of potential for something really great to be, you know, going forward. So um, right now it looks like, yeah, they think that you're just pretty awesome. and. Um, they like spending their time with you and they think you're talented, creative, and literally you're like a muse. You know, you could you could be inspiring like poetry or music, something like that. Like you could be literally their artistic muse. Um, and they feel that they are uh, do they do better when you're around than when you're not around. So that's awesome and um I hope it resonates for you and if it does, please Feel free to leave comments in the comment section and if you like and subscribe to my channel i will be posting more of these on uh, about every day if i can i'm going to do my level best to keep that promise <laughs> so um yeah thanks so much pile one hi pile two okay so if you're pile two then you chose the hermetic tarot and at the bottom of the deck we have the justice card so let's see what else Pile two you got, let's see. The first card you got is the Queen of Pentacles. The second card you got is the Three of Cups. And the last card is the Magician. Okay, so pile two, what I'm seeing here is that your person, that what they think about you is that you make them laugh. They have fun when they're with you. Um, they consider you one of their best friends. Um, it truly looks like a situation where you have the best of both worlds with a lover and a friend all wrapped in one. Um, yeah, they see that you are very healthy and centered in your mind, body, spirit, like that you are, you've got your head on your shoulders, you're grounded, um, you're logical, you are sensible, you're not prone to fits of like, drama basically um and yeah they have they just really enjoy themselves around you and um with the magician card and the justice card on the underneath of the deck um they they see that you are getting what you want in life and that what you work hard for you get you achieve and that you're able to manifest a lot um and they admire that in you and they think that you're they are more than happy probably more happy than they let on that you're in their life so um yeah so how to it looks like you are all that and a bag of chips and they know it so i hope that resonates with you if it does please take a moment and um, comment how in the comment section and like and subscribe and i will be posting more of these videos and going live um as often as i can so thanks so much how to Okay, hi pile three. So you chose the Tarot of Curious Creatures deck and 
um, on the bottom of the deck you have the hanged man okay let's see what else my pile three we got we got the eight of cups death and the lovers hmm. and the hanged man okay Hmm. Well, this looks like things might not be going so good right now for you guys. Um, I'm seeing either you guys taking a break or breaking up or some, some ending of something between the two of you. Um, It's almost like one of you decided that there was something else out there that was better for you um, or for them and decided to take off and like sever this union between the two of you. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, it, but there's this energy too that there's this kind of codependency between the two of you. So, um, especially with like the lovers and the hanged man, um, coming up together, uh, that would mean to me that regardless, there's going to be some still communication and, um, you know, kind of repeating the cycles uh, with this person, but um, it just looks like this is kind of more of a dead-end situation and um, probably a little bit more toxic than is recommended for any adult relationship. Um, yeah, I mean, the death card symbolizes Scorpio, of course, and... Um, so that might, might very well be um, your sign or the, their sign, I'm not sure. But, you know, yeah, the overall energy here is of a less positive tone than the other two piles, um, unfortunately. So, um, you know, all you can do is learn from these cycles, right, and um, move forward so that you can let the person that you're supposed to be with in. Um, if you don't have that room available, if they're still stuck in this energy here, which is really not good energy, um, then you're not gonna be able to ha actually manifest or meet the person that you're meant to be with because you're gonna be too busy dealing with this person who you're not meant to be with. So um, yeah, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you know, if it resonates, leave me a comment, let me know what's up. Um, if this doesn't sound like a relationship, don't put it on it. Don't make it yours. If it's not, um, this might be for very few people. Um, but, you know, if it resonates, then, you know, you already know who you are for itself. If it's resonating for you, you already know. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, thank you so much. And please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these videos and going live as often as I can. And I'd love just to have you there and be able to read for you um, again. So, thank you guys so much, Pal3. Uh, have a blessed day.